morning, Plainsmen. My name is Abby. And I'm Jenna. Today is May 31st, 2019. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Congrats to the Gold Rush Gold Medal Students of the Week. Congratulations to the Gold Rush Gold Medal Students of the Week for the last week of May. Ooh. Emma Palacios is an exceptional student, bright, intelligent, and hardworking. She is creative and artistic. I really admire the fact that Emma is sweet and kind to all and really adores her friends. You deserve a gold star, Emma. I get what you did there. It's gold. Giselle Reeser is bright and eager to learn. She quickly masters subjects and is willing to share her knowledge with those around her. Science may not be her favorite subject, yet she still offers insightful arguments for her evidence. That sounds like her. Totally. Her sense of humor makes me smile, even when I'm having a rough day. But beware playing card games with her because she gets super competitive. Ooh, good to know. Mallory Shaw is an attentive student who is a passionate advocate for those who do not have a strong voice of their own. She's confident and a true leader. She's also subtly hilarious and has a excellent drawing skills. Did I say that right? <laughs> subtly. Subtly, yes. Uh, Austin Hernandez is a quiet and kind student who's always willing to lend a helping hand, especially when it's time to distribute and return laptops. His positive attitude makes him a pleasant presence in class. For sure. Congratulations. Congratulations! The staff versus student softball game is today. Let's see what some of the teacher and student players have to say. Uh, I don't really have anything to say. I'm going to let my play speak for itself. How about you, Hagan? You know what? I don't think the students are used to winning. I really don't. They've lost a lot of things this year. Lost my earbuds. My wireless earbuds. I lost my uniform. Where's my backpack? Lost my homework. Well, you're going to lose the staff versus student softball game, too. All right, and that's how we're going to end the year. Let's go. See you Friday. What do we have to say to the staff? Well, I think that's funny, Miss Hatfield, because you're going to be playing left bench. Even though, Mr. Hagen, we may lose a lot of things, this is one thing we won't lose. What do I have to say to the students I'm competing against? I don't have to say too much. Actions will speak louder than words. And um, you better show up ready to lose, because that's going down. Come out to the quad on June 3rd if your birthday is in June or July to get a cookie. Remember to bring your ID card. Attention all students! Here are two very important library announcements before you leave for summer break. First of all, please write down and keep in a safe place all of your passwords for logging onto Google Infinite Campus and AD. None of these passwords will be reset or changed over the summer, so it will be up to you to know your password when school starts in August. Secondly, please consider signing up for the Santa Clarita Public Library's Summer Reading Program. Starting June 10th through July 27th, you may sign up at SierraVistaSummaryReading.com. Take the five book challenge and win some prizes. It's a great way for our current 7th graders to get a hard start on their reading counts quizzes for next quarter for 8th grade to continue to practice their reading skills as well. Happy reading! Check out our segment, Hot Hands. Help me Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new game called Hot Hands. I'm your host Abby and in this game, two competitors are asked questions and the first person to answer the question right will be safe from being silly string. If the other person gets the answer wrong or doesn't answer at all, they will be silly string. So let's meet our contestants. Hi, I'm Arwen and my thighs hurt. <laughs> Hi, I'm Emily and I love pugs. Which fictional city is the home of Batman? Gotham. Yes! <laughs> Babe Ruth is associated with which sport? Baseball. Yep. <laughs> which crime fighting cartoon dog has the initials SD on his collar? There's a dog that has <laughs> Can we do? Yes! Who's <laughs> the tallest mammal? Um. A giraffe? Yes! Oh my god! 
What is the name of the fairy in Peter Pan? Oh, take a bow! Yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> Sudden death question. What is two plus two minus one? Three! Why didn't I know Wait. that? <laughs> yeah, three! <laughs> <laughs> That's all for today, Plainsman. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Hot Hands. Did you enjoy us suffering? <laughs> Me neither. Today in clubs and activities, we have the Meme Club in room 204, the Tutor Club in room 610, and the Staff vs. Student Stoffball game on the baseball fields. That's all for today, Plainsman. I'm Jenna. I'm Abby. And, and this is Sierra Vista Life. Life.